Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Saturday the 19th of June, another supplementary video this time featuring the New York Times Hard Puzzle and I'm just looking at it now, oh it looks like my printer's gone out of alignment or something I just, if it looks like the numbers are kind of, uh, look like they look like they have a drop shadow either that or my glasses are going bad um, hmm, strange. Okay, I don't know. I don't look at these puzzles, or you know, before I start, so I have no idea um, if there's any printing mistakes. But hopefully that won't be too bad. I hope you can see that. Okay, and it won't look too blurry for you. It looks kind of weird, but anyway. Um, so I'm not going to explain the rules. I'm just going to get straight on and say that this six in this column means that six can't appear again in this column. This six means there's no six available here or here. Remember, a kind of blocking pattern, six blocking up here, six blocking up here, and six blocking across here, gives me a six here. One that I just happened to see quite quickly. Something else I see quickly, two blocking down here, two blocking across here, and two blocking across here, gives a two here. Now, because this is a hard level puzzle, I am going to be filling in candidates, right? Um, because I know it's not going to be easy. <laughs> it's a New York Times one. It's not a Guardian. Guardians are, are pretty simple, I think. Oh, I've seen another one. Okay, so nine blocking across here, nine blocking across here, and nine blocking up here will give us a nine here. But I am going to be filling in candidates um, as and when necessary, and that means immediately I think <laughs> in my in my case it's going to be necessary I am um, this two that I filled in down here is going to block down here there's two blocking down here so two is going to be in a couple of spaces here two blocks up here is going to be in these two squares so down here it's going to be two uh, I do this because I've got these four twos and realize they're not going to be any use to us you know um, this is sometimes useful to get it out of the way I, this two is up here but also look this eight blocks up here so immediately that's great we found a naked pair uh, that means two numbers in two squares and so the other numbers have to fit in these three squares right so what what's missing we have one we have two so three four and six are missing so fours in these two six. oh six we have six we can place already look six now blocks across here six blocks across here so six can go there so three and four was it our last numbers so three and four can go here now and four will block down here there's four blocking down here that gives a pair of in here anything else well the three blocking across here and three blocking across here and now we have three blocking down here means Three is going to appear in one of those two squares. No, that's, um, paired candidates are really useful. That's why I'm trying to uh, fill in some. Um, five blocks across this row here means five is going to be here or here. Is that going to give us anything any else? Cross six. No, not quite. Okay, so I see the seven blocking down here and seven blocking along here, so that's quite useful because it ties seven into these two squares, and that means seven now is not available here because it's going to appear in one of these two squares. This seven is going to block along, so seven's got to appear in either of those two places. The nine blocking here, nine blocking here, and nine blocking down here gives us a nine here and here. Um, but doesn't help greatly otherwise. Four blocking, this looks interesting, four blocking down here and four blocking across here gives us a, a vertical um, pair like this. And that means four blocking down here, four blocking down. So now we've limited two and four to these two cells. That's great. Also, isn't it? Because that now means we can just look what's missing here. So three is not available here or here. So three is either here or here. 
5 is not available here or here it's got to be there or there, what else is missing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oh so 8 is, ok great, so 8 is limited here and here, so now that we know this is 5 and 8 and 5 and 8 a pair here or here, so that means that that 3 can't exist now so we can actually place our 3 down here and this has got to be a 7, it's a nice start Uh, and so of course now this 4 is blocking this square here and we don't have a 4 in this row yet so 4 is here and there's one number missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is 6 6 goes there let's put in our candidate 6 up here 6 blocking down here, 6 blocking up here and 6 blocking across so let's fill in candidate 6 here I know many of you like to do these puzzles without filling in pencil marks um, great go for it, um, you know, if you want to make it more difficult like that, please feel free um, I just <laughs> I can't often do it like that, I just don't have the capacity, I think 9 blocking down here, 9 blocking up here and that will give us a pair of 9's here like so 2 blocking up, 2 blocking up and 2 across gives us a pair of 2's in those locations, there's 2's there and 2's there, not going to give us anything useful Okay, slow down slightly now. Eight blocking down here, right? Two or eight, so eight isn't blocking these three squares. Eight blocking across here and eight blocking up here means eight can go here. That's nice, isn't it? That will limit us to 8 along this bottom row here, but we can't put it down as a pair just yet. So we'll hold off just for a moment, or we might come back to it uh, when we need to, which might be quite soon. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, ah, 7. Okay, we can limit 7 to these two. So 7 blocking across here, and 7 blocking up here gives a pair of 7s. Again, in a row. You know, it's nice to limit a pair to a row or a column because then you can kind of bring it along and see what what it's blocking so this 7 now we know is in this row means 7 can't be here 7 can't be here 7 can't be here so we can limit to a pair here or here three blocking up here three blocking up here means we can limit three to these two squares and now look, so 3 and 3, pairs pairs of 3's in the top row and the middle row that means that in this row, sorry this block in the same shoot 3 must appear in the lower row because we don't have a 3 here or here so it's got to appear here or here, it's blocked in one location by this but we can place it as a pair down there like that Um, okay, just randomly looking at various things. Uh, don't have eye an eye tracking camera, so you don't know what I'm looking at unless I point to it. Um, sometimes I don't. So, so what? Um, all right, rapidly getting to the point of um, no return in candidate. Ah, see, oh no, just limited to the top. I do see that eights are limited to the top here because eight blocking here, eight blocking here. We don't have any intersecting eights down here. What else going on down here? Eights limited there, no. 
eights across here. No, I'm going to put them in. I'm going to put in eights, even though they are useless in terms of pairs. Eights are limited to this three because we have eight blocking here and eight blocking here. So we don't have an eight in the top row yet. We can't squeeze it down to a pair. Eight blocking here, eight blocking here. So eight's got to appear in these three squares down here. And eight is a pair here or here, five or eight, right? No fives or eights are allowed again. So eight has to appear down here. But um, just can't limit it here. It's a shame. All right. Um, what else can we do? Ah, nines block up. Oh no, sorry, nines we've got already. I apologize. I'm leading you down the garden path. Five blocking up here, five blocking this square will give us a pair of fives here. Don't know anything else about fives, not much. Okay, I think we're going to have to start filling in some um, other candidates. Oh, one blocking up here and one blocking along here will give us a pair of ones here and here, right? Blocked here and blocked up here, so one and one up here. That's going to give us ones along the top. Again, since I'm doing this, I, mean, I can't restrict the ones, but um, I have three possible places. Hmm. No, it's not going to be. Yeah, I'm not going to get that. What I was thinking. I'm not going to get what I was thinking from there. Okay. So where to go next? So probably just uh, filling in candidates. Let's start up here. Looks like we've got a few here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All done except eight. In fact, so eight blocks up here and eight is available in these three spaces that's it uh, maybe down here one blocking here that's it so like this so we have one two three four five just can't tell anything about five hmm. nope. so we'll put five in everywhere um, six we have Seven we don't have. Seven blocks this square here. This seven blocks this square here, and that's it. So seven is like this. Eight we have, and nine we don't have. Nine is blocking this square here, and this square here. So it's just along this central column here, like this. Hmm. Is that going to do anything for us? One eight. One, um, five, five, eight, five, three, seven, eight, and two, four. Okay, no, nope, not going to do anything there. In this. Ah, okay, five, eight, and five, eight. Yes, that's good. Five, eight, and five, eight means we can now get rid of this eight, and we can get rid of this candidate five here, and this candidate five here, and this candidate five here. And guess what? That means this is now the oh no, there's a five here as well. Sorry, I was going to say that's the only existing five. It's not. <laughs> Oops, not true. Uh, five eight five eight. Okay, what else? Seven one nine seven one two nine. Okay. Anything else? All right. Right. Where do we go next? Um, well, we've got this 5 and 8 limiting here. So 5 is not in these squares here. So 5 is going to be pushed into the bottom row. Is that going to help us? Not much. No. Not really. No. Um, hmm. All right, I might as well do this. I, I don't know what's going to happen here. Three blocking down here, so three is like this. One can go anywhere. One is like this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six we don't have yet. Six blocks up here. Ah, 
you should have seen this ages ago. I bet you were shouting at me. If you were shouting at me, you should have shouted louder. Six blocking across here, six blocking down here, and six goes here. You know, if I ever watch these videos back, um, which I don't do very often, but <laughs> if I do, um, you know, normally I'm going, oh, how did I miss that? It's so obvious. Um, but something happens when you start playing the game on the camera. I don't know what happens, but it somehow gets difficult. <laughs> Um, what's missing? One, anything? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that has to be a one because that's our sole remaining candidate. So guess what? We found another number. Good. And remember to get rid of candidate one here, leaving us with five eight three five eight three five eight. And remember to get rid of candidate one up here. Um, which leaves a pair of ones. Okay, was there anything here? Nothing yet. Okay. Now, what has that changed up here? So one now blocking along here, or one blocking down here. So this is a one. And guess what? Look, we had a pair of sevens here, and now we have a pair of ones. Uh, we also had fours, which intercepted here, but that can't be true now because we know though that has to be a seven or a one, and so that has to be a four. Um, we know that this 4 can't be a 4 now, that has to be a 2, and that has to be a 4. We know that that 2 can't be true, so that's a 2 down there. And that will give us just one number left here, which I think is a 3, is it? Yeah, yeah. But look, 3 blocks down here, so we had a 3 or 4 up here, so that's not a 3. That has to be 3, and that has to be 9. Now we can fill in the last number here, which is a 9 in this column. And we're overwriting a 3, so that's our 3, and that's our 6. And over here now, 6 along, 6 along, and 6 down will give us a 6 here. Okay. So that was fruitful, wasn't it? Um, so what's this? This is a 7 or 1. We've got 2 8 here, so this has got to be a 7 or 1. Anything giving us? No. Uh, nothing. Um, nothing cross at all with sevens or ones, so I'm just going to fill in one sevens like this. Okay. Shall we sweep back to the right hand side? Because I can't do anything else there. Let's see. Have we, uh, yes, this nine now means that that nine can't exist. And so nine has to appear here. Um, What else? Four blocking up here, four blocking along here will give us a pair of fours in these two squares here. Um, um, no. um, Anything else? I feel like I'm just missing something simple. Okay, maybe not. Um, so let's just go on and fill in some more candidates then. So uh, in this block here, one is not allowed here. That can go in the other squares. Two, we have three, four, we have five. Five, do we not have, really, we don't have any info on fives? No, we don't. So fives can go anywhere. Six, we have seven blocking up this middle part, middle column. And, uh, that's it, so 7, 7, 7, hmm, the sun went in, if you're like, if it looked odd, the sun actually has gone behind a cloud, very unusual, it's normally highly sunny, uh, if my voice sounds a bit strange, I'm sorry, it's because I'm using the noise reduction, but it's the only way that I can play this puzzle after about, you know, 9am in the morning, it's just too hot, if I don't have at least the fan on. Preferably the air conditioning too. At the moment, I'm just using the fan. Um, right, where was I? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, done. So let's check along here. I think I've got forgot to remove that nine there. Look. Ah, so now oh dear. Oh no, that's not. That's four, seven, nine, five, okay, that's one. Okay, now back up here. One block in, well, one we've got already. Two, three, four we don't have yet. Four blocks along here and four blocks up here. But there's still three available squares. Uh, five blocks along the middle. And that's it. Six, seven we have, nine we have, eight we have. Okay. It's one, it looks a bit difficult to see. Um Oh, look, another candidate I haven't removed. Oh dear. Nine blocking along here, nine blocking along here. Look, that is in fact a nine. Oops. That's what I'll say. Oops. And now we're, that's clearly a four. Okay, so it leaves us with a seven and one here, seven and one here. That looks right. So now four or seven. That's got to be a seven, hasn't it? And the four, which was part of a pair, we can put here. So seven or five, that's a five. Uh, five or eight down here, that's got to be an eight. Five and eight we have already, so that's a four. That's got to be a two now, hasn't it? Two or eight, that's got to be an eight. That's got to be a two. Um, two, three, five. Two and five are, are here, so that's clearly a three. Seven, three, five, we've got three, five already, so that's seven. Five or eight, we have a five, so that's our eight. Down here, five or eight, that's our five, that's our eight. One or eight is a one, seven or one is a seven, that's a three, that's a five. Over here now, three blocking that, so that's our three, that's our four. Uh, we're left with two numbers up here, which I believe are five. Uh, sorry, one and eight, I should say, one and eight, so get rid of candidate five and five. And four, so it leaves us with one eight. Okay, that's good. Back over here now, what were we doing? I'm sure, there must be more to fill in. Yep, one number left down here now. We've got the five already. That's a seven. Seven or one is a one. That's a five now. One number missing along here. It's a one, I believe. Is that right? It's got to be a one, hasn't it? Now, overwriting a five. And the last number here is a 7 down here. 7 or 1 is a 1. That's our 7. Um, what's missing? Uh, 1 is missing in this row now. 1 or 8, so that's the 1. That's the 8. Uh, back down here, what do we have? This is 3 or 5. 3 blocks down here, so that's our 3. And this is our 5. One number missing here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's an eight. And the last number missing here is a five, I believe. Let's just double check everything, make sure we haven't um, got it all wrong. And it's looking pretty good to me. Okay, so New York Times hard puzzle. Mm, kind of on a par with yesterday's, um, in other words, easier than it has been of the last, um, say, couple of weeks or something like that, where, where you needed some special Sudoku knowledge to finish it. I think here, just general, you know, you didn't need any X-wings or Y-wings or anything amazing like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed solving the puzzle, and um, 
please subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you again. Uh, non. Thank you. Bye-bye.